All right, let's take this example for just a second. A radio wave has a wavelength of 3 times 10 to the second meters. What is the frequency of that wave? Well, let's look at that relationship first, that C is equal to our frequency times our wavelength. Well, we know the value of C is equal to 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. We also know the length of the wave, but we don't know our frequency. So we'll multiply our wavelength times our frequency and isolate the frequency. We're going to do that by dividing both sides by 3 times 10 to the second meters. Okay, now what I accomplished from that is that I, I reduce this one to 1, so it leaves the expression. So now I end up with 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 3 times 10 to the second. Now you remember your exponential uh, mathematics here. The 3 divided by the 3 equals 1. Now I've only got one significant figure, so I'll leave it at that point. And your 10 to the 8 minus 10 to the second gives us 10 to the 6th, and that's our frequency. And it'll be in what units? Well, let's see. Meters cancels with meters. So we're going to say, since the s is in the denominator, s to the negative 1. Now, s to the negative 1 is an interesting concept. Uh, we have another name for that. Cycles per second would be the way that we would read this. But the other way that we would spell that one out is hertz. Abbreviated, it's HZ. HZ, or Hertz, stands for cycles per second. So we're able to calculate then the frequency based on the wavelength. Well, let's take another one going back from that. Let's take the frequency and calculate the wavelength. All right, so now we've got a similar problem. I've rearranged it. It says a radio wave has a frequency of 1 times 10 to the 22nd hertz, or cycles per second. What is the wavelength of this wave? If we go ahead and set up the problem, it's done the same way. The speed is equal to the frequency times the wavelength. Only this time we have the frequency. We're looking for the wavelength. Well, let's do our isolation first. Let's divide both sides by the frequency so that we can now isolate wavelength. Then we'll just plug the numbers in. 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by frequency, which is 1 times 10 to the 22nd, is equal to our wavelength. Well, 3 divided by 1, I've tried to select numbers that are easy to deal with, is equal to 3. Okay, if I do the math on that, I end up with 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 1 times 10 to the 22nd. You remember that 3 divided by 1 gives us the 3, and 10 to the 8 divided by 10 to the 22nd gives us 10 to the 8 minus 22, or 3 times 10 to the negative 14. Now let's look at the units that are associated. Uh, you recall, what was the units of 1 times 10 to the 22nd? Well, it was s to the negative 1, or cycles per second. Well, hopefully you can see then that the cycles per second and the seconds are going to be similar units. They're going to cancel out. Leaves us then with 3 times 10 to the negative 14 meters, a very short wavelength. But then again, it had a very high frequency. So it's balanced this out in that one.